So it's been, I guess, a week, two weeks or something since I made a video. Uh, I think I'm a little bit burnt out with launching uh, Prison Planet, um, so that's why I haven't done one. Anyway, it doesn't mean there's not progress being made, so as you can see, the art is coming together. We have some music as well. I've spent the last couple of nights doing the soundtrack. It's nearly done. It's getting there. There's some weird tracks. Um, so let's go and do a quest. So this is the very first level and you only have one dungeon tower to beat, so it's super easy. Yay! And I have this uh, ludicrous happy song for when you win. quite like it. So, uh, I also put the shop in, I've been working on that. So you can get this free card pack every day from watching an ad, I think. So you're always going to make progress. Ooh. And um, yeah, the other ones like premium ones, and there's some premium currency, and there's soft currency, so this would be the soft currency card pack and these are, you can buy three of those a day I think and this is the one that you can buy as many as you want using the real monies um, so we added another oh, I don't know let's play another level uh, so let's try and catch somebody so um, if I knock this guy's health down I can see that he has only this help. One out of four left. I need to tidy that up. Um, so if I face him, I'm going to use my net. I've got to roll more than he does, but I can only roll a max of five against his seven. And I completely lost. Let's um, use some potion. Oh, I died. Um, I like the idea of, so that when you die, uh, someone's supposed to come out and tell you and give you advice on how to get better at the game, you know, it's like, you know, what to do. But I decided to make that person your mum. I think it's quite funny that your mum comes out and tells you how irresponsible you are by going into these dungeons and doing all this stuff, you know. Um, okay, I know there's a bug if I go somewhere. Okay, so I'm going to cheat. Let's imagine. I caught a monster, yeah! I'll build a couple more of these. So, catch three monsters with my magical cheat key. Um, now I can breed them. So normally in, I think, things like Tiny Dice Dungeon, you'd have to breed, breed again, and breed again, and breed again. Well, put DNA in over and over again. Um, I made it a bit more user-friendly, so you can just kind of do a multi-breed at once. It's the same as doing two, and then two, and then two, and then two. So there you go, he's uh, actually Generation 4, and he started at one, but that's just me counting from zero in programmery way. Um, okay. So what else have we got? We can go inside the house. We can see the monsters, as you can see. I've got a sea bear. Um, we can go to the basement, but I shouldn't because there's nothing in the basement. Uh, what else? Um, I mean, I think that's mostly. I don't know if this works anymore. Did I break it? No, nope, kind of works. So multi-stage dungeons definitely makes the game feel a lot more interesting, like substantial, you know, gives it some weight. And you have to be a bit more careful about your health because your health carries across, so sometimes you might not want to kill the last person and go and find the health crate. Even though you do have um, health potions that might come up. Uh, the rooms get really big, so we give you more stamina for bigger rooms, so that you've always got like enough chance to actually do stuff. Um, and I unlock Sea Bear. Oh, but I cheated to unlock him already, so there's that. Oh, I didn't take him in to battle. Let's go in and fight with him. So my pet has the blue marker above his head. 
So obviously these rooms are very small. Um, as you do better in the game, you start seeing bigger and bigger rooms with more enemies. I think it's like... We have like 11 or 12 in a room eventually. Um, okay. That's... So I know that an axe does 3 damage and I know that he um, has 4 health so I can't use that on him and kill him. But if I wanted to catch him, I would shoot him with the arrow or use the axe and then... Seabed, do something! Come on! I don't know why Seabed is not fighting. There we go. Oh, Seabed doesn't do any damage, so there's a bug. So there's lots and lots of bugs to fix, obviously. And the coin drop is all you get. All you get is coins, as opposed to be you know premium currency and stuff. Some of the other things that we have in this game that is sure to be a controversial choice. Um, but I'm actually quite into it. Um, I'm not gonna press the shield. I don't think it works. I think it'll crash the game. So I need to get to the end. Or die. I could die. Let's die instead. Just turning on the spot means that he'll just keep on attacking me. Okay. Bye bye. Hey mom. So we do have a stamina system in the game. Um, I found that personally when I played it, I'd just grind forever and it ended up feeling really repetitive. And so I thought about adding different things. Um, but I quite like the idea of doing like actually like a day and night cycle in the game. So that's why I added this. So when you click here, it's like, oh, it's night time. You can pay to skip it currently. But maybe it'll be an ad or something, I don't know. But it's just nice to break up the, the flow, I think. But anyway, yeah, there you go. That's the state of it. I'm I'm sad a little bit because I think uh, it's taken seven weeks to get this far. This is a seven week anniversary. And Prison Planet took seven weeks to actually launch into open beta. Um, we're close. But I don't know. I'd like to say it's two weeks, but it's probably more. I'd, I'd really like to say it's less, but who knows. Um, it's definitely taking its toll on my sanity, that's for sure.